This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites, and this tutorial is on how to buy Bitcoin. So uh, this is just going to be a really quick tutorial. I'm going to go through it uh, as fast as possible. The reason I'm doing this is because I develop websites on the Shopify platform, and one of the ways that you can take payments is through Bitcoin, and up for either one of those, and you can accept your payments in Bitcoin. So uh, that's all I'm going to say about Shopify. Now let's go into how you buy Bitcoin. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's a lot of exchanges where you can uh, buy Bitcoin. Uh, so I'm just going to go show you Bitcoin.org shows you a list of all the exchanges that are available. Uh, well, not all the exchanges, but quite a few of the exchanges that are available around the country. Um, so you could use any one of these uh, to buy in your fiat currency or whatever your native currency is, uh, say dollars, for instance. So I'm going to use uh, Coinbase. Coinbase is a San Francisco company, and uh, they're one of the largest, uh, easiest ways to buy and sell uh, Bitcoin. So if you just go to uh, coinbase.com, and I'll put a link to it uh, within the description of this video and also on the blog. So um, you're going to have to do some identity verification, but you can buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, and also um, Bitcoin Cash. Uh, so it's a pretty uh, quick and easy way to buy Bitcoin. So you're going to have to do identity verification. I'll put a link to this in the video. You'll just need a copy of the front and back of your driver's license, and you may need something with your address on it. Uh, so very simple, but it's all on this uh, all on this um, page right here uh, but once you sign up it's going to ask uh, what what they require and it's pretty quick some of the um, exchanges have closed down to new users but most of them are starting to open up again so i would definitely recommend trying coinbase uh, that would be one of the first ones but you may want a couple uh, different accounts open on uh, different exchanges where you can exchange your fiat currency for Bitcoin. So I'm going to show you the um, the dashboard for Coinbase right here. So this is going to show you the different coins, what the current uh, current trading price is it for Bitcoin, Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Then it's going to show you what's in your portfolio and your recent activity. So if you click on buy and sell, it's very simple. And once you've connected a bank account or a credit card, uh, credit card is the fastest way that will immediately be in your account and then you can send it out. If you use a bank account, uh, there's going to be a delay. It usually takes us several days, could be three to five days before uh, when you make that purchase to when it goes into your account. But you will lock in the price at the time uh, that you make the purchase. So if I were to buy it right now, I would lock in the price of Bitcoin. And uh, if I wanted Bitcoin Cash, I just click on that. Or Litecoin, you just click on what you want. But if I want to lock in the price and buy some Bitcoin today, I would just hit Buy Bitcoin, ask me to confirm, and it'd be done. Over on the right, it's going to have my fees and the total amount of Bitcoin that I'm going to own at the current market price. So you don't have to buy a, hundred, a whole Bitcoin. <laughs> So now let's go ahead and look at uh, buy and sell. And let's go to accounts. Now if I want to, if I had other forms of payment, like a Visa card for instance, then I could do that. And I could put in the amount that I want, click on buy, and I'll instantly have that available in my account. So if we go to our accounts, we can see the amount that we have. If we want to receive somebody who's gonna send us some Bitcoin or if we were sending it back from an exchange to here to convert it to US dollars, we can click on receive and then we can click show address and that's the address that we will put in uh, from wherever it's being sent or that's the address you would give to somebody to send you uh, some Bitcoin. Same thing, you have to give them the specific address for the type of currency that you're receiving. So if you're receiving Ether, you need to give them your Ether address. So um, that's pretty much all you need to know about that. If you're sending it, um, let's just say you're sending it to an exchange, you're going to have to get the address that you're sending it to, enter that address and uh, the amount that you're sending, and that's all you need to do. And then you can continue. So I usually, you know, just put the amount in US dollars that I'm sending. 
once you go to settings clicked on linked accounts it's going to show you the accounts that you have you can remove them if you want or you can link a new account so when you click link a new account uh, you can either do a wire transfer you can do uh, PayPal PayPal can't be used to purchase but it can be used um, to send your funds out so if you want to um, convert something and then send it out you can send it to your PayPal account or you can send it to your bank account uh, and you can uh, if you decide to do a bank account and link it to your bank account you just choose your bank and then you put in your online password for your bank very simple so uh, this is just one of the simplest um, ways to um, to get money in and out of Bitcoin so that's why I like Coinbase I'll put a link to Coinbase in the description of this video and um, if you can't get into Coinbase, start looking at other accounts. Uh, Uphold is one that is uh, part of the basic attention project where the Brave browser, which is a secure browser. Uh, so this might be one to look at as well. So, uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, and it, it's very simple once you start trading. Um, once you get some Bitcoin, you may want to put it into a hardware wallet uh, like the uh, Nano S ledger wallet and i'll put a link to that as well uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to put a question in the comments thanks for tuning in to pinehurst websites this has been kevin king with a tutorial on how to buy bitcoin